Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 14th of August Godly Blessing. We are just one day behind. And now of 15th of August, may you have a blessed Independence Day. So let's see what does good Supreme Father have to say in today's blessing. He wants us to have an imperishable tilak. Now this tilak is something which we put it on our head, but this tilak is a tilak of soul consciousness. Yes, exactly. So God says, may you have an imperishable tilak by knowing the importance of your awareness and make your stage elevated. Now this tilak is a tilak of soul consciousness that I am a soul, I am a supreme being who is actually infinite. And when I am infinite, when I am thinking infinite, I am con connected to the infinite source of everything. So then the awareness is infinite. It's not limited to the finite and we are not sad thinking about I don't have enough, I wish I had this thing, I wish that person had done something good for me. We are not crying and craving around. So let's see what does God mean to say over here. Father says, May you have an imperishable tilak by knowing the importance of your awareness and make your stage elevated. A tilak has a lot of importance on the path of devotion. That's what people do. They go to a church, they get a cross on their forehead by the Father in most of the places. They go to a temple, they get a dot on their head, like a bindi or a tilak, a saffron tilak or something like that. And God says a tilak has a lot of importance on the path of devotion. When a kingdom is handed over to someone, he is given a tilak. That's a Raj tilak. The sign of being wed and the sign of fortune is also a tilak. You have a wedding and you are wed and you put a tilak onto each other, husband onto the wife and wife onto the husband, right? So God then says, the sign of being wed and the sign of fortune is also a tilak. On the path of knowledge, a lot of importance is given to the tilak of your awareness, where we are soul conscious, always aware that there is an invisible energy at the center of the forehead, which is a tilak which cannot be seen by the two eyes but with the eyes of awareness or knowledge. That I am a soul, I am a being who is working through this body and doing every sort of karma which is pure. Being soul conscious means being pure. So God then says on the path of knowledge a lot of importance is given to the tilak on, of your awareness. As is your awareness, so would be your stage. Stage would mean I will be soul conscious, I will be looking at everybody's goodness within them and instead of looking at them. On a physical basis, thinking about they are more wealthy than me, or I am poorer, poorer than them, or I am more wealthy than them, and having the ego of that, or I am more good looking, or that person is not th that good looking, and all those indifferences will finish when I am so conscious. And then there is peace of mind. God then says, if your awareness is elevated, your stage would also be elevated. You will have more peace of mind. You will be more balanced, more relaxed. This is why Bab Dada has given. You children are tilak of three types of awareness. Now what are those? The awareness of the self, that I am a being, I am a soul, I am a non-physical energy in this physical body. The awareness of the father who is also a bodiless being, supreme creator, he is a light, form, nur, form of energy, jyoti. So God says, and the awareness of the drama, that this drama is rotating in a fashion which is well planned, pre-planned. So God then says, we are aware of these three different tilaks in order for you to perform elevated actions. Now when we have these three tilaks in our mind, that means that knowledge of these three things, soul consciousness, father consciousness or God consciousness and drama consciousness, automatically our mind is very stable and very powerful. We know what to do, when to do, how to do and with what to do. The right form of karma. God then says, in order for you to perform elevated actions, the stage of the children who apply an imperishable tilak of these three types of awareness at Amrit Vela is constantly elevated. Now, Amrit Vela is a time early in the morning at 4 o'clock when everybody else is sleeping, not thinking about work, not thinking about business, not thinking about money and that's the time the vibrations in the house or the workplace are pleasant enough for you to think something beautiful create something beautiful at that beautiful time and be connected at in meditation to the infinite when our physical body is not awakened and our mind body this mind has its own body a body of thoughts that is awakened and that is 
refreshed or quarantined or cleansed at that early morning time. That means having your mind, the software, cleansed with the antivirus of meditation. You can learn that antivirus of meditation at Brahma Kumaris with this Om Shanti.